I've been thinking a lot about how whiteness, white supremacy shows up in art. Folks go back and forth a lot. I see on some of the more major kind of art, history, culture platforms about, you know, that that's not a thing. So I thought more about this from the perspective of teaching a black queer feminist art course and how I would explain it to students. Let's talk about the female gaze. So the female gaze captures three viewpoints, the individual taking the photo, the characters in the photo or the piece and the spectator. And when we think about our lens that we are viewing different art pieces through, right, we talk about it would be great to also think about this through the lens of this art exhibition. Because for me, as a Black, queer, femme identified body, the female gaze in parallel to the male gaze isn't necessarily safe, right? And then the female gaze is also um, clearly heavily steeped in, you know, gender norms and stereotypes and things like that. But follow me, let's, let's keep building on this. The female gaze focuses on emotion, touch, the interactions. It also focuses on the atmosphere as opposed to action or uh, sexuality within the picture or the piece. So we think if we think about that in terms of the three aspects, the three viewpoints of the female gaze, along with what it focuses on, right, I would love to add another layer to that related to Black queer feminist art gaze. I would argue that the Black queer feminist art gaze would view identity, values, marginalization, status, and how that's depicted. It would also highlight different social issues as well. The Black queer feminist art gaze will also question, right? It's not passive. So I think that's the other element that would make the female gaze to the black queer art feminist gaze very different is that it's not a passive um, experience related to the view. So this is one of the reasons I appreciate Bell Hooks and her range um, on talking about different topics. She talked about art being a mechanism to not only liberation, but clearly also to highlight different systemic and institutional issues. So let me know what you think. What's been your experience with uh, the female gaze, the male gaze? What do you think about how I'm thinking related to the black queer art feminist gaze? And definitely check out for more resources. Um, there's some good stuff in there.